Mermaid's Forest is the type of anime that has something for everyone to enjoy while also being short enough to experience over the span of a few days. Fans of Inuyasha will be predisposed to enjoying Mermaid's Forest as they're both aesthetically similar and share the same original creator, Rumiko Takahashi. The premise of the story is that mermaids exist and consuming their flesh has a chance to grant you immortality. However, your odds aren't as hopeful as they may appear considering you also have the chance to cough up blood until you die or transforming into a giant brainless creepy eyeball monster. Considering the steep price, those who pursue mermaid flesh are either uninformed or totally deranged. The story follows Yuta, an immortal wandering Japan for hundreds of years in search of mermaids who can reverse what he considers to be a curse of immortality so he can die naturally. Yuta is joined by Mana, another immortal who he rescued from a miserable fate of torture and eventual sacrifice. The plot of Mermaid's Forest follows a semi-episodic format spanning hundreds of years through Japan's history as Yuta and Mana investigate rumors of mermaid flesh. These episodes mostly focus on characters whose lives have been ravaged by the effects of the devil's mystery meat. A few examples are innocent people who are being manipulated by immortals in order to sustain their immortality, and people who suffer from eating it and partially transforming into a monster. Although the episodes are similar thematically, many of these mini arcs offer different emotional experiences. Some arcs are more dramatic while others are more thrilling action-oriented, or mysterious. It really is a mixed bag. For better or worse, Mermaid's Forest tries to straddle just about every genre at once. In the beginning, you might be confused that this is a dark humor due to events like this. He's dead. Damn it. This was my only good shirt, now it's completely filled with holes. I came in expecting a mystery drama, but ended up laughing my ass off to scenes like this in the first episode. You really are in the full bloom of beauty oh, right Will now. you shut up? You keep saying the same thing every day! What are you staring at? You've never seen anyone eat before? This may seem all well and good, but the comedy isn't sustained beyond the first episode. In fact, they even make you feel guilty for laughing because one, immortals still feel pain. It's not something to laugh about. And two, Mana was actually a prisoner. Even the manga had some sort of identity crisis early on in regards to being comical. For the record, I don't think comedic relief is bad, but I don't think this type of story should be that funny, though at times it is, even when it's unintentional, like this. Go ahead, make my day. Although this technically isn't an action anime, there are a fair amount of good fights here, some of which created a decent amount of suspense. This is typically difficult to do with immortal characters, but I found myself really being drawn in at times, considering some of the gnarly wounds that these characters incur. Now the manga is partially labeled a romance, but the anime tells the same story, and there is a hint of romance in both, but it's just a hint. Anyone who labels this as a romance is sadly incorrect. I say sadly because if the story were longer and more fleshed out, I would be interested in seeing where it goes considering Takahashi is notorious for teasing shippers and never going anywhere with it. Mermaid's Forest is also labeled a horror and most horror anime tags are incorrect. This would be one of them. Having said that, the anime can be pretty creepy and ominous at times, but I would chalk that up to being more of a suspense or mystery, and in that regard, they perform decently. Some episodes will lead you down the path of believing that one character is the villain, then the plot thickens, revealing another, so it definitely can keep you guessing. I'd say the strongest genre presence here would be drama, as that is a consistent theme throughout the entire series, considering how many innocent people are being gravely manipulated by the immortals. Overall, Mermaid's Forest is a prime example of an anime that tries to do too much with far too little time. 
This could have been much better at 24 episodes, but with 13, you get an anime that does a lot decently, but doesn't really excel in anything particular. Although this may sound like a typical, the anime was too short and the manga was better argument, it's not. I'd consider this to be one of the few anime adaptations that are better than the manga. The story is 95% accurate, and anything that was left out wasn't that important in my opinion. The art style is also more refined and tailored to look like Takahashi's later art style. It's colored, animated, and even dubbed. In my opinion, the 2003 anime makes the manga obsolete as well as the two prior OVAs. The two prior OVAs were accurate adaptations of two arcs, one coming from the middle of the series and another coming from the end. While they are accurate adaptations, and I do like the art style, they're both obsolete due to being incomplete in one of the worst ways possible, by not adapting the introduction arc. They're both simply fan service to manga fans, and you don't need to watch either of them. I give Mermaid's Forest a 7.5 out of 10 because it does a lot of things good, but just isn't long enough to fully achieve everything it was trying to accomplish. On my scale, 7 out of 10s are totally worth checking out. I've just seen a ton of anime, but Mermaid's Forest was an enjoyable breeze of an anime that I completed over the span of 3 days. Definitely check this one out if you found the premise to be interesting, or especially if you're a fan of Inuyasha. Thank you for watching. If you know anyone who might enjoy Mermaid's Forest, please share this video with them so that they can be informed without being spoiled. Spoiled. I'm not sure what I'll be reviewing next because I haven't picked a new anime yet, but I am trying to stick to at least one video a week, so I'll see you then.